things that people try to do is to say, how do we decrease lapse rates? And this was something where they did an unstructured machine learning. They just threw the data in and they said to the machine, you figure this out, okay? Figures, figures things out. And while it was figuring all these things out, it kind of said, oh, look, there's a relationship between lapses, the policy payment date, and when the person receives their salary. So it found that between these three variables, there was a relationship. And what it was saying is that if the premium, like if people had to pay their policy after they got their salary, they were more likely not to lapse. So if I get my salary on Monday and I have to pay my premium on Tuesday, I pay it. But if I have to pay my premium on Tuesday and I'm only getting my salary on Wednesday, I'm more likely to lapse. And they found because people just didn't have the money. They weren't lapsing because they didn't want the product, they were lapsing because they didn't have the money. And they found that all they had to do was move the payment date to one day, you know, like so the person gets their salary and then you ask for the money, and suddenly the lapse uh, rate was reduced significantly. Now, the crazy part, the crazy part is like this can save an insurance company billions, okay? especially these really big ones, billions if you think over the course of years. Some insurance companies know about this and they don't implement it. And that's because they have these old legacy systems that built in the 80s that can't do that small little change. Just to change the premium uh, payment date would be too expensive or too much of an interruption to the business that they don't interact with. Which means new upcoming insurance companies are able to implement these advances or these discoveries that the big ones couldn't do. 